Hello there. Just a little more information about the PRC, the polynomial regression channel. This is a grade 3. And to better understand how this works, let's change the degree to 1. So this is a linear regression. Now we can see that we have a linear in the last certain number of bars. This number of bars is the length of the study. On the study we are using 128 bars. That means that on the last 128 bars we are looking for the best linear approach. So if we change that to 2 then we have the best quadratic or second degree polynomial. So it is a, par a, a parabolic uh, shape on a third degree. This is the one uh, I first charted. And the maximum is a fourth degree. Usually the, the third degree is uh, good enough. The, the difference in the degree is that on, on a linear we, we get a, a straight line. So if it starts sloping up, it ends sloping up on a quadratic. If it, we always have this type of shape. So if we start sloping up, we end sloping down. On a third degree, we always start and finish with the same slope. So this is the most used um, degree on most studies. Something also to take into account is the, the calculation is always made on the last um, 128 bars. So now we are looking at the best approach on a third degree and you can see that how this is changing on real time. We can see on, on this point where the start of the study begins. Of course, we can we can change the, the length of the study. We can increase this number. But this is the the main point of the of the PRC indicator. Now when we want the, the indicator pack contains also the other time frame version, the this PRC OT, this one. This is exactly the same but we have a, a second time frame where to fix. Let's say, for example, that we like this approach, but we want to trade on a range 4. Then, if we want to use this uh, study, we need to use the other indicator, but targeting to a range 4, um, sorry, to a range uh, 8 uh, time frame. So instead of using the PRC with a degree of 4, let me go to PRC OT and we target the whole time frame, a range 8, also a degree of 3. So now I can
So now, no, no matter on which time frame we are working, we have the polynomial regression channel always calculating the bands on the selected this, uh, time frame. This will be a range 8. As you can see, the bands are not from this current time frame, so may not look uh, smooth because this one is calculated with uh, the secondary time frame and we are using a range 8. Also, it is calculated real time. Now, when we move, the bands are also calculating real time on the last 128 bars. On this example, I, I have a different period. So, this indicator is calculating on the 105 bars, but no these bars, but of the range 8 bars. So it is calculating this on the, on this other time frame. Okay, let, let me know if you have any questions.